You do kind of look like a genie in a bottle. This bun and pink hair. Your bun and pink hair. You're my genie in a bottle, babe. I am your genie in a bottle. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to Cooking with Josh. And babe. And babe. Tonight we have something very, very, very special for you. It's cold and rainy. It's cold and rainy and babe really wants to push my limits. So tonight we are going to do a, a chili, but it's gonna be completely homemade. Everything from scratch. So we're gonna make the chili in the cast iron and then we're going to make a cornbread. That's, that's not healthy, but chili and cornbread go together on a cold night. So we're gonna make the chili, then we're going to make the cornbread. We're gonna take the dough from the cornbread, set it on top of the chili in the cast iron, put it in the oven and make this chili cornbread concoction. Goodness. Goodness. And put some cheese and sour cream and you know, really getting nasty with it. Good. All right. So here we go! So this is what you are going to need. You're gonna need milk. You're gonna need onions. Babe doesn't like to cut onions. If you've seen our previous videos, Stevie Wonder, you can know. So we got onions that were pre-chopped up. Olive oil, vegetable oil, cornmeal, sugar, chuck, chuck Norris, no, chuck beef, <laughs> kidney beans, diced tomatoes with little chilies in them. We need some. Ground cumin, chili powder, garlic, chicken broth, baking soda, salt, pepper, cheese, flour, butter, sour cream, cutting board, kabam! Apparently. A whiskey sour. A whiskey sour is also on made, tonight's menu. Also made from scratch. Also made from scratch with fresh squeezed squoze. Squeeze. Squoze. Stop. Squoze. Squoze a word? That's a word of my book. <laughs> so here we go. Yes, babe, it is already cut up. Nice. So basically what we're gonna do with our beef chuck, short rib, boneless beef goodness, is we are going to take that and we are going to make that into half inch cubes. Maybe even a little bit smaller. If you wanna add in that this is a pound and a half. That's what we used, a pound and a half of beef. If you're cheating and you're using the kitchen scissors to cut it into yeah, that's, stuff. That's well, in the meantime, while you're cutting, we need to give a shout out to Mark. Mark approached us at a local eating establishment and said, hey, are you Josh and are you Babe? Aren't you the people that make the healthy cooking videos? Mm -hmm. And I said, yes, Mark. And he was awesome. <laughs> but we're not living up to our reputation because this chili, well, the chili is gonna be healthy per se. The cornbread that's about to come from scratch is. But what we wanna say is we're really thankful for any of you that watch these videos. Good point, babe. We are thankful for it because this is our little hobby and it's fun. And the more subscribers we get and the more people that watch and comment and we can chat with and stuff like that, it's super fun. So yep. next step in our preparation is we're gonna have to do, you know, you know, babe. Garlic? Garlic. Our favorite? So I don't know, let's put like one or two heads of garlic in the little super ninja food processor. And then we will grind that up because we're gonna mix that in later down, down the road. This is one of the, uh, more advanced recipes here at Cooking with Josh. And babe. Okay, babe, come, come close, babe, come close. So look at the garlic, look at the garlic. Can you see it? Is it looking overexposed or whatever? So you can see the skin is still on the garlic. I learned this from somebody from the Foodies Facebook, gave me a, a YouTube link and then anyway. So you see how the skin is on there, okay? Okay. So then we're gonna take the other end of our bowl like this, okay? okay. Bowl in like this. Yeah. I wish we had two sizes of the same matching bowl. Yeah, we're okay? gonna need to get that. Yeah, we're gonna need to get that. Yeah. All right, so you put the cover in it and you start to shake. Check this out. Literally, literally, the skin will come right off. Put the garlic, because we're terrible at garlic. All of our early YouTube videos, everybody mm -hmm. made fun of us cutting garlic. Yeah. So you do that, you shake it vigorously, mm -hmm. okay? It de-skins itself perfectly ready to throw into the food processor and you're ready to go. So literally, after you shake it vigorously, look at this, totally skinless and it's ready to go. So all the skin removes itself. That and, is wild. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That is the best cooking tip I've ever received in my life. That's good. There you go. All right, babe, okay. in the food processor. Okay, here we go. Yeet. We're gonna salt and pepper the beef before we put it in the skillet. Lots of pepper, babe. I like it spicy. Spicy, babe, spicy. And then we're gonna do 
or Himalayan pink salt. Pink salt. Which we're almost out of. You don't need as much of that because it goes a long way. It's pretty heavy. All right, now our cast iron. Fire on. A little bit of olive oil. Babe, we need to get that piping hot. Piping. Like, like you, babe. Like me. Piping hot. Hot and spicy. Hot and spicy. <laughs> and then you add in the bleh, 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 bleh. So, Sorry, babe. <laughs> that, our viewers were thinking that, but I'll tell you that you're spicy, babe. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, and our appetizer over here. Babe, Check we're not it. talking about that. That's a totally different cooking video. You just gave it away. It's not, it's delicious. Okay. Mm. We're gonna brown that up. Alright babe, we need to add in one tablespoon of flour and one tablespoon of cornmeal. Ready? Yeah, do it babe. Okay, so there's the cornmeal, one tablespoon. Hey, Charles here um, didn't want to cut an onion this time. So this is a entire onion pre-cut. And the garlic. And then add in the garlic babe. And then we're gonna cook all that up. You want the onion to be soft, you want the garlic to be soft, you want the beef to be brown. All right, so we're, we're cooking it all up. We're getting it nice and hot. So we had to turn it down on low, and we are gonna mix this all together and cook it until the onions are soft before we add our next ingredient, about three minutes. Four tablespoons of chili powder, babe. This is what's gonna make it chili, I guess, right? This is spicy. Well, we could do three. It, no, no, no. You want, it, you, how, how spicy do you want it to go? Oh, I like spicy, babe. I'm with you. I have to like spicy. Oh yeah, babe. People are gonna be like, oh, <laughs> these guys. So four tablespoons of chili powder. Yeah. And then two teaspoons of the ground cumin. Two teaspoons. Babe, let's let's mix that up into magic. And then we're gonna add some more stuff to it. Hey, babe, three cups of chicken broth. We like to use the low sodium, I don't, that's not low sodium. My blood pressure, babe, my blood pressure. Those are not only diced tomatoes, but it's diced tomatoes with chilies in it, but we need to drain it. it we need less liquid, so we're, we're straining it out. So that's two cans of tomatoes, but one can of, what is this, kidney beans? Yeah, kidney beans. Kidney beans, okay. So our tomatoes and our beans are now going in our chili. So now, we're supposed to do four tablespoons of sugar, but Babe wants to switch it up because Babe has, has a plan of attack. So three tablespoons of sugar and one uh, tablespoon, no, yeah, tablespoon one tablespoon, yeah. of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon is like a secret ingredient. Secret ingredient, secret, secret alert. That a lot of people don't know about and it makes it fantastic. This is gonna go on for 30 minutes now. We need to simmer this, babe. Does that mean bubbling? Yeah, it's gonna marry. It's gonna marry? It's gonna get married. It's gonna get married in this cast iron? Mm -hmm. Everything, all the ingredients are gonna marry together like a... Oh, That's a lot of sugar, babe. I mm -hmm. feel like we should have toned down the sugar, no? Anyways, we're gonna bring it to the simmer no. and 30 minutes, well, maybe sooner, who knows? We're gonna simmer it for a while yeah. so that they all marry and then we're gonna go to the next stage. So now we're gonna start making bread three tablespoons of butter because what's healthier than a bunch of butter so we're gonna melt it three-fourths cup of this um, fine cornmeal three-fourths cup sorry I, I had to plug I had to plug the device in we were running low on, on juice one teaspoon babe of that baking soda one teaspoon okay one. that baking soda now let's add in that butter yeah, babe, what are you adding in now? Okay, we're doing three tablespoons of sugar. And then one teaspoon of some sea salt. What do you got there, babe? Quarter cup of sour cream. Quarter cup of sour cream. We need to we need to break break eggs, babe. Okay, one egg. That's actually just one egg. Okay. There we go. Okay. What are you doing now, babe? I'm gonna put in three quarters of a cup of cheddar cheese. Oh, babe. Mm -hmm. I noticed that your shirt changed from the beginning of the video. It got a little inappropriate when it broke. This was about to be cooking with <laughs> boobs. Cooking with boobs. Cooking with but Josh it's not. And it's Babe's boobs. It's cooking with Josh, <laughs> with special guest Babe and chili and homemade cornbread. Oh, you can't even see it. Oh, 
Full on change exposure. Oh, hallelujah. So that is going to be our homemade cornbread. Babe's mixing it up. Ooh, babe, it's time to preheat the oven. 400, babe, 400. So babe, we need to turn the hot off. Right. So hold on. Off. Off. So babe, you uh, off camera, we were discussing yeah. if you should roll that into balls, but you said no. No, it won't. How many dumplings of cornbread do you think you're gonna be able to produce? I'm gonna do about six or seven. Six or seven, okay. Yeah. Are you All ready? Right. Yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna drop it right there. Babe. What are those? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, babe, I'm ready. Oh, Seven, oh that's a heavy meatball, babe. I, I gotta say that's at least 10 pounds. 10 pounds of that's chili and cornbread. I'm guessing. That's how much I'll gain. 17, yeah, 17 minutes at 400. Okay. Alexa, set a timer for 18 minutes. 18 minutes, starting now. Babe just said, let's have a dance party while we're waiting. From Spotify. Hashtag cleaning. Oh. Oh, okay. Babe, this is the song that I listen to when I'm mad at you. <laughs> All right, we just pulled it out of the oven after about 17 minutes. That cornbread's a little more well done than I like. Um... Uh, I would have probably done it, instead of 17 minutes, I would have probably done it like 14 minutes or so, but it smells fantastic. So let's dig into it and see what's up. In the meantime, scroll the final picture now. And what, what, I don't understand what's going on here. Babe, that's not healthy. Mm. You wanted to put non-fat Greek yogurt? Yeah, that would be the best healthy way. Hashtag cornbread, chili, cheese, sour cream. The end.